Natalie Riley last updated 7.57, July 9, 2018 Vanessa Paradis got married on Saturday, to filmmaker Samuel Benchetret, the man who directed her in the French film Chien in 2016, that swooshing sound you hear is 10 million women punching the air in solidarity with the actress for finding love after Johnny Depp. It wasn't always thus, the hand swooshing, I mean. We used to bow at the altar of high cheekbones to worship Depp and Parody, both separately and as a couple. And although they never married, which we were totally down with, that was far too bourgeois, their union, from 1998 until 2012 was widely regarded by every clog-wearing, matte lipstick-buying, 21 Jump Street fan as the apex of celebrity chic. Once the literal pin-up of 1990s teenagers everywhere, he has now sunk into a place that has fans concerned. He was the ruinously handsome television actor who transcended his late 80s prescribed hunk status to seek success as an indie actor and purveyor of risky tattoos. She was the ultimate ingenue, flitting about in French movies, singing playful duets with Lenny Kravitz and modeling, for Chanel perfume, no less. As if this were not enough, they lived in France. Contrary to historians' views, the 1990s were not time for the guru, it was time for bong-flavored bohemia. And we were most certainly here for it. Fred Moore, asterisk what happened to Johnny Depp's face? Asterisk the craziest revelations from Johnny Depp's Rolling Stone interview Asterisk extremely volatile, Johnny Depp's legal battle takes dark turn Asterisk you want me to sell some art? Johnny Depp's financial woes laid bare Johnny Depp and Vanessa Parody at the 2006 Golden Globes. In today's terms, one might view their combined street cred as hovering somewhere between Beyonce's flower crown and heaven. Their coolness only intensifying when they had kids, Lily Rose, now 19 and a model, and Jack, now 16 and already hugely successful at wearing flannelette shirts. The children's only hindrance, an inability to discern which parent their good looks came from, given parody and Depp are identical in the face. Correction, were identical in the face. Age afflicts us all, though it seems to have barely touched parody 45, still a muse of Karl Lagerfeld. Sadly, the same cannot be said of 55-year-old Depp, leaving this writer to wonder, does abject pretension cause wrinkles? Can an excess of contrivance make you old before your time? Lily Rose Depp is the face of the new Chanel No. 5 low. It seems preposterous now that one man would be allowed to saunter into interviews with more handkerchiefs on his person than a magician, and a fedora so large it veered dangerously into a Blinken territory. Remember, if you can, that this was a man so cool, he was permitted to roll his own durries on TV, a man so revered, nobody seems to mind that he has taken to dressing like a 1940s movie star playing a gangster in a midday matinee movie. All high pants, shoulder padded blazers and wallet chains. Then, when Depp burst forth out of the spray of the North Atlantic Ocean as Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean in 2003, audiences were delighted. Here was an actor so serious and so beloved, fans treated his previous film flops the same way they did his overzealous application of eyeliner, with stubborn acceptance. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard at a film premiere in Venice. He hadn't won an Oscar because he was too cool for them, obviously. And here now was proof of his astute nonchalance, his participation in a movie based on a Disney ride, ironically, friends. Oh he was part pirate anyway, I wasn't he. The natural heir to Keith Richards' essence, and purified blood supply, probably. Oh, it was a hoot, until it wasn't, and the Pirates franchise became Depp's primary income stream, and so utterly boring, even the most loyal of fans could not suffer it, meanwhile, Depp appeared to enter into the lower colon of an uncomfortable midlife crisis, sleeping on Marilyn Manson's couch, and indulging in a musical career that consisted of touring while swaying, guitar in hand, on stages across Europe. Johnny Depp at Glastonbury in 2017 the eyeliner only got thicker, the hats higher and the chains and scarves appeared to multiply, as he very quickly married Amber Heard, an actress 23 years his junior, in 2015. But the chortles about his midlife became gasps when she alleged that he verbally and physically abused her, an allegation he still denies. 
They settled for $7 million out of court, leaving Depp reportedly not very well off financially. Although, some might argue that spending $30,000 a month on wine, and purchasing a $3 million custom-built cannon for the express purpose of blasting Hunter S. Thompson's ashes out of it, weren't exactly pathways to wealth. But the personal nadir was to come. Candid photos of the former heartthrob showed up on Instagram earlier this month, prompting fans to ask if he was suffering from a serious illness, or in fact, actually dead. One commenter said she was, praying, while another observed, his color is bad, and while Depp's publicists insisted he was, in fact, alive, and the current, look, was due to a new role, those who had followed the reports in Rolling Stone, and elsewhere, about his alleged drug abuse, alcohol consumption, from goblets, no less. Along with the anecdote about him needing to be fed his lines through an earpiece have left many of us wondering if his soul is still attached to his body. Praying, indeed. But one person who is likely not wandering is the mother of his children. For although Parody claimed for years that marriage was of no interest to her, it would seem she was really just waiting for the right man. The look of happiness on the faces of Parody and her children at the Loki wedding on Saturday, just outside Paris, would seem to suggest she found him. Sydney Morning